Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to this video. This video will be another studio vlog, so I hope you enjoy. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna package my orders from now. And I'm also gonna show you my new paintings and the process of making them. I also wanted to talk about No Issue, which is a website that offers everything related to packaging, eco-friendly packaging, products that are environmentally friendly as they are either compostable, reusable or recycled. I do want to have more eco-friendly packaging. I'm not quite like totally there yet even though I wish but I think it's also a process and if you can even before creating your brand or selling your art, your products, think about that and maybe try to incorporate a bit more of that in your brand. So if you're looking for new things and want to improve your, improve your packaging when you package your orders, <laughs> you might be interested in knowing a bit more about this brand. I think that's very interesting and that's something I want to improve in my packaging process. They also plant one trip per order in areas in the world that are in need in order to help reforestation so that's another great initiative that they do their website is very well made and i was able to design new stems so i'm going to talk about them in the video and also explain you why i've decided to create some stems and let me know if that interests you in the comments i would love to know so i hope you enjoyed this video if you do please like subscribe turn on the notifications to know when i post a new video and keep on watching I was able to design my own stamps from No Issue website and I made the designs on Procreate and also using Canva. That's what I've come up with. I already had my logo so I included some text. I've created two designs for two different stamps. I downloaded them on No Issue website to create the stamps, to choose my options and it was really easy to do it and you can choose between three different sizes and also choose the ink that you want the color of the ink black red green or blue and you can also choose the type of stamps you want if you want a wooden stamp what i chose which include an ink pad so based inks or you can choose a self inking stamp which include a preloaded in cartridge and then you receive your stamps and here they are i chose the wooden stamps as i said and they are five centimeters by five it's the medium size they look very nice very well made and i'm gonna try them out so you're gonna see how they look on paper using the ink that I've received and also some other colors. So I wanted to create these stamps to save me some time and avoid using my rubber bands written fragile on it, especially on small packaging and also personalize my packaging a bit more. I chose the black ink because I know that I'm gonna use that a lot but you can also choose a blue, red or green ink. I think black is easy to use and goes with everything. I will have one more left so that's cool. Here you're gonna see me try them out on white brown like craft paper and blue dark blue paper. You have to take enough ink to get something really nice but I think it looks really good and I really love how they turn out on paper especially the black on white and also the black on brown is also really cool. It's not as visible on dark blue paper but you can still use it and also use it on different colors of paper so that's cool let me know which one you like the most do you think it looks better on white brown or blue i would love to know your thoughts on them
I think the soy based ink from No Issue is really nice and looks really good on paper too. Here I'm cleaning the stems. You can either use soapy water or you can also use some hand sanitizer like hydro alcoholic solution. That works very well too. And I would highly recommend to clean them every time you use them especially if you use different colors of ink. As I like to use dark paper for my orders, I also wanted to try a white ink and also a gold ink that you'll see later. And the stamps work really well with different inks, so that's cool too. This white ink is definitely not as good as the black ink from No Issue, but it's kind of cool on brown paper and also especially on dark blue paper. I think it looks pretty nice. Let me know what you think. And you're gonna also see that the golden ink looks better on dark blue and on white and it's not as visible on brown craft paper. So that's um, how everything turned out <laughs> let me know what you like the most I think it's pretty cool to also use different colors and yeah I'm gonna mix up everything so that's, that's what I like <laughs> I guess <laughs> let me know what you like I'm also going to show you how I package my orders. Here I'm packaging the Flower Lover sticker sheets. There is only one set left on my Etsy shop so go check it out quickly if you are interested and also let me know if you want me to make some more. I really want my orders to look like cute gifts for you when you open them. So I like to use like gold colors, things like that. The only thing is that this what i'm using like the gold stickers and the gold ribbon are not recyclable so i need to find something different so if you have any ideas for me to use something gold but also recyclable i would love to know the paper and the envelopes are recyclable and when i ship to france or very close to paris because i live in paris i don't use bubble wrap except when it's raining a lot and when I ship worldwide I have to use something to protect the stickers, art print or paintings that I ship because they do need to be protected from water damage and for that I'm using some bubble wrap even though it's bubble wrap that, I, that I'm reusing because that's bubble wrap that I've kept from others that I've received I kept the bubble wrap to reuse it but still it's not recyclable so I also didn't need to find another option to replace the bubble wrap and especially when I'm packaging my paintings I do need to protect them very well. I don't use any tape with plastic, I only use some glue like roll on glue so the paper is always recyclable just take off the wax seal that you can also reuse if you like and also the bubble wrap you can also reuse it like i do if you want so for now i don't have anything compostable in my packaging but the paper is recyclable the envelopes also are recyclable you can reuse the wax seal and the bubble wrap if you'd like On envelopes I don't use any tape, plastic tape anymore. I'm just using my stems here and this is also a recycled envelope and I just close it like with the glue and sometimes I add a bit more glue but it's a roll-on glue. And that's how I package my small orders. I do need to improve my 
big packaging when I ship my big paintings. So if you have any ideas, any suggestions for me to improve my packaging and have more eco-friendly packaging, I would love to know. Please let me know in the comments and thank you so much for your support and also your understanding in that process. Now I'm going to show you my newest paintings and the process, the painting process, how I've made them. They are now available on my Etsy shop if you are interested. You have the link in the description box. And I wanted to use some purple because I wanted to create another set of four mini paintings. I've already had two mini paintings in the purple shade and I wanted the, the other two to go with them so I've created these two. I wanted something very natural with trees and forest. I don't know, I wanted something magical and also pretty simple. Let me know what you think of them in the comments. I also wanted to create another painting, a bigger painting, on a black background, so I've also used some black gesso for that. And I wanted to paint some plants and some leaves using different colors, something for spring but different. And the key here is to use the right brushes and use one brush for one type of leaf the right brush for the right size of leaf and also create a nice color combination and i do really love this color combination let me know what you think and i also added some little dots to have some again a magical effect something very cute yeah i do really love this one and i would love to know what you think of it As usual, I varnished the painting with some varnish spray and I'm going to show you the final result. I would love to know what you think of this painting. They are available on my Etsy shop if you are interested. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, turn on the notification and I hope to see you soon in my next one. Bye!